Teams Premium Add-on License brings a whole new set of features to Microsoft Teams. In this video, we're going to focus in on those features that are available for securing, branding and customising your meetings that are part of the Teams Premium License. If you don't yet have Teams Premium, or you're looking for help to understand it or to get started with it, check out this video first and then come back to this one. Making it easier to set up and customise meetings is going to be important for many organisations, and having tools to help you do this centrally assists in your adoption projects, helping users to implement tools in a consistent way across your organisation. Meeting templates are surfaced to the user in their calendar when they choose to set up a Teams meeting and allows them to easily choose the right type of meeting for the particular purpose. But what does it mean to say the right type of meeting? And what do meeting templates actually allow you to do to change how a meeting works? So here in my Teams calendar, if I come up to the top and go to new meeting, there's an arrow at the side, I can click on that, and then I can see the different types of meetings that I'm able to set up. You can see this one here, Team Catch-Up is one that you won't have seen before, and that's because that is a custom meeting template in my environment. Let's take a look at how we set this up. So here we are in the Teams Admin Center, and we're going to come into our Meetings menu and head down to Meeting Templates. And you can see here this is denoted as a premium feature, and you can see one custom template that I've added in here, Team Catch-Up. So let's take a look at this. So you can see that in your meeting template, you can create a name for your template, you can create a description for your template, and then you have a whole set of different settings that you can assign to that particular template. So under security, you have options about who can bypass the lobby, whether encryption is going to be turned on, and we'll come back to that later, watermarking as well, audio and video settings for attendees, recording and transcription settings, the roles in terms of when people are leaving and joining, and then meeting engagement. Are you going to allow chat? Are you going to allow reactions, etc.? And interestingly, you can set all of these, but you can also lock and unlock particular options, meaning that when the organizer of a meeting chooses to use that particular template, they get the option of whether they're going to put that setting on or not. They can change it. Whereas if you lock it, once they use that template, then that is locked in and that setting is going to be the one that they end up using. So this is a powerful way of setting up different types of meetings. Say, for example, you have an all hands meeting once a month and you want that set up in exactly the same way where the attendees of the meeting don't have their mics and uh, their video turned on. Uh, but you automatically record the meeting, then you're certainly able to set that here and here, then create that as a template, and then whoever sets up that meeting isn't gonna have to remember to put those custom settings in place each time they set up that particular meeting. They're just gonna be able to go ahead and use that template. So once you've got some templates in here, and you can have a number of different templates, the way that you roll those out to users is pretty similar to the way you roll out different types of templates across Teams, and that is that you use a meeting template policy. So you can see here, I've created a Team Catch-Up Organizers template policy. I've assigned the Team Catch-Up template to the viewable templates, and I can put hidden templates in here as well, so that they're the ones that you wouldn't see. And then you can assign that to users. And you can see here that I've assigned that to myself. And you can just come into your users as you normally would. You can see the different assigned policies. And if you want to change a policy, if you want to update a policy, you have that option down here in your edit user policies window. If this video adds value for you, please do click the like button. And if you're interested in seeing more content like this on digital transformation for small businesses, Microsoft 365 and the Microsoft Power Platform, then please do subscribe to the channel. Beyond how your meetings work, how it looks can also be important. Features like custom branding, custom backgrounds, custom together mode scenes enable you to bring your brand identity into every aspect of your team's meeting, right the way from the lobby through to signing off. Additionally, paired with the new webinars and virtual appointments features, you can bring these customized experiences outside of your organization to your external customers as well. Check out this video for more information on that feature set. So back in the Teams Admin Center, I've jumped into the customization policies option under meetings. And you can see here, I have one custom uh, customization policy in place here, new branding policy demo. 
So let's just jump into that and see what options we have. So under your policy, you really have three different areas of options. You have this base um, customization of the visuals here. Um, and you can see if we select this and we edit our meeting theme, you can see we have the option of creating a logo here. We can uh, add a logo from our computer. We can add a background image, which is gonna be used in the meeting lobby. And we can set a color that we want to use across our meeting lobby. And we can apply that. We can see a little preview of what it's going to look like. So you can see I've got my logo there. I've got my web background there. You can also allow a meeting organizer to control the meeting theme, whether that meeting theme is going to be applied. So if you turn that on, then you allow the organizer to do so. And then lastly, you can add in a set of custom backgrounds. And these are backgrounds that are going to be available to the group of users that you're applying this policy to when they're going into their meetings. So they're custom meeting backgrounds. And the point of this facility is that you could say have different departments within your organization that are going to have slightly different lobby requirements. They might have different logos, different things that they're working on that they want backgrounds for. And you want to be able to take groups of users and apply different kinds of branding around them. You could just do this en masse though and, and change the default for your organization if you just wanted one set of customizations. So jumping over to a view of Teams, I've got a demo meeting here that has been set up by the user that has that custom branding policy assigned. So let's take a look at the experience of joining the meeting. So you can see here that when you join the lobby of the meeting, you get that customized experience that we just saw. And then if I go ahead and join this meeting from the user that set it up with the Teams Premium License, you can see that if I go to background effects, I can see my custom background here and I can apply it. But for the other user that doesn't have that custom branding package assigned, if they come into background effects, they do not see that custom background. So the custom background follows the user that has been assigned the policy, whereas the custom branding follows the meetings organized by the person that has been assigned the policy. The last customization option works a little differently. To set up a custom together mode C requires a little bit more work and at least some knowledge about deploying custom apps into Teams. So jumping into the dev portal at dev.teams.microsoft.com, you can see that one of the things that you see on your front page is create custom scenes for meetings. So if we click on that, you can see that we have a couple of scenes here that are just examples that are in the system. So let's jump into one of these and see how they work. So essentially all you've got here is an image or a group of images that are overlaid on one another. And then you've got some, some people that are assigned in that image. And I believe you can go up to 50 different users here. In this example, we have eight of them. So you can move things around as we just saw, you can um, click on a particular user, you can move that around, you can change the size of it. So if we come out of this and say, pick user number six, make them bigger if we want to. We can assign a spot here. So if we want the meeting organizer to always take this spot, then we can assign that as well. And you can play around with this and set this up exactly how you want. So for example, if you have a particular room that you use for meetings in your organization, then you can take a picture of that, you can bring that into this together mode scene designer, and then you can deploy this together mode scene out into your organization. So once you've finished playing around with designing whatever it is you want to design, if you wanna bring this over to Teams, then we're just gonna click on view in Teams, then click on preview in Teams. We allow Teams to open, and then after a few seconds, you'll see you have the option of adding this scene into your Teams. Now let's jump into a meeting. I'm gonna jump up to view. I'm gonna to select together mode. I'm gonna scroll down and find my scene that I just brought over. There we go, that's the scene that I just brought over. I can select together mode for everyone. Apply it. And you can see that as the meeting organizer, I have been assigned this spot here that I assigned for the meeting organizer when I set up the together mode scene.
The security in your environment and your data is an important part of Microsoft 365. And traditionally, Microsoft has offered the opportunity to enhance basic license SKUs with higher level security features with add-on licensing, such as adding an Azure AD Premium P2 license to something like a Microsoft 365 Enterprise E1 license. In this, Teams Premium follows that convention by adding a layer of optional security features as an add-on to Teams. Firstly, Teams Premium adds additional options for end-to-end -end encryption, which has been added as an option for one-to-one -one calls for some time. You can now turn on the option for an end-to-end -end encryption in meetings from your Teams Admin Center, and users licensed with Teams Premium will be able to secure applicable meetings they organize with this new option. So back in our Teams Admin Center, if you want to change your encryption policy, you can jump down here in the menu to Enhanced Encryption Policy, and you could create custom encryption policies or alter your default encryption policy depending on what you want to do. So if we just jump into the user controlled, you can see here that we have end-to-end -end call encryption, which is not enabled, but users can enable. You can either turn it on to that or you can turn it off or the premium feature, which is end-to-end -end meeting encryption. And again, you have exactly the same options. Now, when a meeting gets set up, it'll have to be turned on unless it's already set up in a meeting template, in which case that meeting template will turn on the encryption for you. Now, this new encryption feature does have a few downsides. As very understandably, for example, encrypted meetings cannot be recorded but they're also limited to 50 participants. Now, another option that is available that you can set up either from your meeting settings or as part of your meeting templates is the watermarking feature. And that allows Team Premium licensed users to set in their own meetings that watermarking should be turned on either for video feeds or for shared content or for both. But again, caution does need to be advised as at present, not all Teams capable devices or sharing situations support watermarking. So you may inadvertently be stopping some of your users from seeing anything in a meeting by turning this on. However, I know that one of the biggest concerns of virtual versus in-person meetings for some remains the lack of control that they have over the content they are sharing being shared further than they'd like. Watermarking certainly doesn't prevent this from happening if someone's determined to do it, but it does help you identify where the leaked information came from after the fact. In our new hybrid reality, this is probably the best we will be able to do to quell this concern, at least until some entirely new technology disrupts how we meet and share content. Now you may be thinking, this is a lot of different settings and policies to control in the Teams Admin Center. But with Teams Premium, you also get the capability to set up to build custom policy packages. So back in the Teams Admin Center, I am now in my policy packages area. And you can see that I've got my 14 default policies here and zero custom policies, but custom is noted as a premium feature. So let's jump down and add a policy package. So the way this works is that when you create your custom policy package, you can create a name, a description for it, and then you can select various types of policies and apply them to your policy package. However, unfortunately, at this time, a custom policy packages is a premium feature, but the new types of Teams policies that are available because of Teams Premium are not yet available to add to a policy package, at least not through the Teams Admin Center. I'm not sure whether you can do this yet through PowerShell. And so uh, there isn't anything in the Teams roadmap at this time to indicate when this might be changing. So this is a little bit of a, a weakness here right now that the custom policies are a team premium feature but you are unable to allocate out other teams premium features using the policy package aspect of teams premium so beyond these features that I've demonstrated, Microsoft 365 already has a rich layer of security and compliance technologies to help you protect your sensitive information. For those users who are using sensitivity labels in their organization, Teams Premium users who are also licensed with Microsoft 365 E5 are able to apply sensitivity labels to meetings. But that's something that layers on to that E5 license um, and isn't something that you get just by adding Teams Premium onto any other type of license you already have. For many use cases, Teams Premium will make sense as an add-on for at least some of these features. 
Pairing meeting templates with the new security options is a great way to boost the security of your team's usage, particularly as more businesses lock down their approach to remote and hybrid work in the long term. Overall, the Teams Premium package is an odd mixture of features, with some that might appeal broadly, like these meeting setup and security enhancements, and others that are more niche, like enhanced webinars. However, thinking of the scope of just the Teams Premium security enhancements, it seems more like a package that should be priced like existing add-on licenses like Intune or Defender, which are sub $5 per month per user, rather than the bigger packages like Enterprise Mobility E3 or Azure AD Premium P2, which are priced more similarly to Teams Premium. It makes me wonder why Microsoft didn't choose to release these parts of the package as a team security add-on, maybe at $3 to $4 per user per month, to make it easy to widely deploy these features to all users without the extras only some users need. It wouldn't surprise me if this changes somewhere down the road, or even if some of these features ended up rolled into Enterprise E5 to push adoption of that top tier package. Now, Teams Premium does cover a lot of ground in terms of the range of its feature set, and we've only touched on some of those in this video. I recently published this video here on the more customer facing aspects of the package, webinars and virtual appointments. And in the final video in this overview series, which I'll link here when it's released, I will look at the productivity features that are part of Teams Premium, like Intelligent Recap. Thanks for watching, and until next time, bye bye.